guys, we're back working on the CR250 again, and today we're gonna be working on the carburetor. So gonna take that thing completely apart, replace all the seals, clean it up really good. And I got some new jets that I'm gonna be putting in there and explaining why I picked those for this bike. Originally, when I disassembled the bike, I wasn't able to get this throttle cable out because both of these screws were really stripped out. and they were just gonna strip even more. So now I have this impact driver and this thing is gonna help me bust them right out. Here's the carburetor all cleaned up and the other aluminum pieces that I cleaned using this mag wheel cleaner as usual. So it looks awesome. And I used this carb cleaner to clean up all the little carb parts and it actually just did a kick-ass job. I mean, everything looks awesome. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the jets. I have the pilot jet or the slow jet right here, which is going to be a 40 and the original is a 30. And here's the main jet, which is a 420. Also, I moved the clip on the needle to the second position. Looking over here, my altitude and the temperatures I'm gonna be running are more like this and this. So if we go down here, it recommends a 410 or a 400 and a 30 and a 30. Clip on the second position for both. So I'm gonna be using a 420 and a 40 and the clip in the second position with the air screw turned probably two turns out as it says. So the reason I'm bumping these numbers up is because the bike is going to have a V-force read intake. The exhaust ports are getting cleaned up. It's gonna have a full FMF exhaust system. So with all that extra intake and exhaust flow, I'm gonna be adding more fuel on the idle and on the top so that this bike can run Perfect.
So this is as far as I was able to go with the carburetor. This little piece right here is a spring collar. So it goes inside here and holds the spring, but it has a crack in it and I could probably use it for a little bit, but I'm sure it's going to break eventually. So I'm going to replace it. And then this is the cover that goes right here. And as you can see, it's all cracked up and busted up. So I'm going to replace that as well. While I'm at it, uh, this last hose too, I didn't know that the kit didn't come with this hose. So I'm going to get that one also. I also wasn't 100% sure how these vent hoses went back on, but it's a good thing I took a video of me taking them off. So I was able to kind of figure out how they went back on because the diagrams online were no help in terms of routing these vent hoses. But yeah, this thing looks amazing. I'm super happy. Definitely like the red hoses. Also got the air box sealed up again with a fresh gasket. And I actually took it back off and put it back on because there's this little rubber tab right here that I didn't have outside. And there were, I could see that there was a little bit of light coming through. So I knew there was a leak in there. But now it's all good. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see this bike get finished. Definitely, this is another step closer. And really only a few more things. Um, hopefully going to finish the rear shock soon. I'm just waiting to get that spring back from powder coating. And But probably in the meantime, I'm going to go through the engine, make sure all the transmission parts, all the washers, everything is in there and the motor is going to be ready to go. I don't need to order any other parts because it takes a few weeks for them to get here. And I really don't want to be waiting when this bike is coming together. Also in the next video I should have some more parts to show. Uh, I just got some really cool foot pegs that definitely will be in the next video. And also I'm waiting on a custom seat cover and some graphics too, but that's in the works right now. See you guys in the next one.